the fact that adenocarcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma are different histologies under the microscope, but it's also a very different patient because the patients that we see with squamous cell carcinoma, in general, they do worse than the ones with adenocarcinoma. If we get a lab report and we see it's, it's squamous cell carcinoma, in some way there's also always a bit of disappointment. We, we, we would have liked that it would have been an adenocarcinoma because these patients are in general, they have smoking induced cancers, they are older, and because of the smoking, they have comorbidities. They have lung disease, they have heart disease, they have renal disease, they have diabetes, whatever. And the, the total of this makes that um, it's, it's a really a different patient. It's a different patient because you have more limitations for surgery, you have more limitations for systemic treatment such as chemotherapy, you have nearly no targeted agents because there are no oncogene drivers that you can target with the drug in squamous cell carcinoma. Fortunately, we have seen some lights recently for these patients as well with uh, EGFR antibodies and certainly with immunotherapy as well.